Welcome back to the ninth part of this series on the to-do list application with the Django REST framework and in this one we're going to carry on uh, trying to store our data. So at the moment we have a front-end application which uh, works but the data isn't persisted. So the next part of this now that we have a basic API view is to create a model in which we want to store all of the uh, elements, the to-do elements that we will that we will be creating with our front-end application uh, so that it can be saved and therefore persisted. To do that then I'm going to go to the source code, I'm going to create a new file so that I have somewhere to put my model. I'm just going to say new file and I'm going to say models.py and in that I'm going to have a class called uh, to do to do's I suppose or to do elements and this is going to inherit from models.model and uh, for now I'm just going to say pass because what I want to do is uh, import that so I need to uh, import models so from Django import models and then I want to actually define what I what I need for each to-do element. Now at the moment, if we're not sure uh, what to define here, uh, we've actually done it on the front end. So if we go into the JavaScript here, you can see it just says to-do text and done. So they are sort of the two things that we need to store to be able to represent a single element of our to-do list. So going back into the model, I'm going to define, uh, let's say, to-do text, and that's going to be equal to models dot character field and it's going to have a max maximum uh, character length of uh, let's say 200 it shouldn't be a shouldn't be a limiting factor and so the other one was done so that's just going to be a boolean I just say done is equal to models dot boolean field and I'm just going to stick another blank line in here, just space it out a little bit. And that should give us a basic uh, database schema for us to be able to store these elements in. Uh, so let's go over to the Django shell. I'm just going to say Django shell. And I'm going to make sure that I can sort of play with that model a bit. Uh, so to import it, I need to do to do dot models from to do dot models import to do elements. So it turns out I've got the import wrong, it's actually django.db uh, I think. Uh, let's try that again. I think we have to quit out of the shell and reload it. Uh, but if I do from to do dot models again, I'm going to import to do elements. And now it says uh, the model class doesn't declare an app label. Now to fix this one then, all we need to do, as it says, is go to our installed apps, which is defined in our app settings. So I'm going to go to settings file, and I'm just going to add to do, which is going to be the app here. Uh, now this is also our project folder, but it doesn't actually matter that we also use it as itself an app. So uh, we can actually do that in Django. Uh, if we go back, we can do from Django uh, dot models. Now the reason it hasn't picked up here is because I didn't restart my Django shell so it hasn't picked up the new import. If I do Django admin shell again then I do from, well the same import I had here, uh, if I do from to do dot models import to do elements with a single space there it should pick up and now as you can see we don't get any errors. Now this is pretty much what I was looking for uh, one thing I can do to check that I can store an element in it is I can create, just create a new element essentially. So I can do to do elements dot objects dot create and then all I have to specify is whatever we define in the model. So let's say to do text and done. To do text is equal to uh, almost there and let's say done, I think that was a boolean, so we can say true. And if we hit enter on that, uh, it says, so we get another error because we haven't made that database migration. If I quit out of this shell again, uh, what I need to do is migrate that, migrate my database so that it's up to speed with my 
model. So remember, every time you change a model in Django, you have to uh, make the migration, which is sort of like the Python file used to dictate the database schema, and then uh, do Django admin migrate, which is going to actually apply that uh, sort of schema written in Python, if you like, uh, to the database itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and do Django admin uh, make migrations. Now, sometimes in Django, when you do make migrations, uh, you can sometimes get this no changes detected message. And what this is basically saying is because of the way that we've set up our project, uh, instead of using our Django admin start app command to create a different folder, which we then register in our settings uh, as a, spe a specific Django app, and that would have its models normally associated with that app, because we're sort of uh, doing it slightly unconventionally and using the main project folder itself as a Django app, it doesn't actually know to look for models within that folder itself. It assumes it won't have any. So what we have to do to fix this is we just say to do, which is the name of the project. And there we go, now it can pick up that migration based on the new models file that we've defined in it. And now I can go ahead and apply that to my database using Django admin migrate. In the next one then, we're going to update the API endpoint that we defined in the last video to be able to uh, pick up the objects stored within that model and serialize that in our JSON response instead of just some generic data. Or in English, what that means is carry on developing the API endpoint.